just good evening everybody or good day to you yes this um, today we'll be looking at a fixation in english language so the topic before us today is a fixation now today you'll be learning what a fixation is all about and how it is important or how it is useful in English language. Yes, let's take a step further. In English language, it is the process of adding an affix to an existing word to create either another word or a different form of that word. Yes, what we are trying to say is that affixation in English language it has to do with the process of adding an affix which time you will know what an affix is all about so it is the process of adding an affix to an existing word that is a word that that is in in existence do you get okay a word such as like specify um solid and so on so to create either another word or a different word of that word okay let's continue understand better now we are saying that it is the most common way of making new words in english language by extension most words in english exist as a result of conversion from one part of speech to, to another yes we all know that those words in english language in one way or the other belong to one family or part of speech okay let me give you an example if i say go go belongs to the family of verb so that's what we are saying in english language these words that belong they belong to the part of speech different part of speech so now you see how a fixation affects this word now let's let proceed by extension most words in english exist as a result of conversion from one part of speech to another yeah that's true the reason being that let's take for example we have the word solid solid means something strong right now from the word solid another thing is added to solid to give another word Okay, take for example, let's we have solid and we can have, let's say we add IFY to solid, making solidify. So, now, that's IFY that we've added to solid has actually changed solid from its original part of speech to another part of speech. Let's proceed, you understand. Let's see how some words exist in English. For instance, we can see beauty. You know, it belongs to now category, meaning that beauty falls under the category of now. We can then decide to add full to it. Let's now add, let's do a little practical here. Let's add full to beauty. That is Roman figure one. Beauty plus full. When you add full plus beauty, then what you have is beautiful. Meaning that your full, when added to beauty, has changed beauty from being a noun to an adjective. Can you see? So that F-U-L there is an example of affix. Now, Roman figure 2, look at Roman figure 2. We have create. Create there is or belongs to the family of verb right an action word to create something to produce that's the meaning so if we should add ive to the word create then our end result will be creative meaning that ive has changed create from being now which is the original its original tense or oh, sorry original part of speech to adjective so we now have iv being added to create to give us adjective so you now see how new words are formed from already existing words 
Roman figure 3, we have specify plus IC. If you add IC to specify, then what we have here is what? Specific. You see, that's why you see adjective there. Do you understand? So, what we are trying to say is that affixation helps us, actually in English language, in forming another word from existing root. Okay. We have, from the above stated examples, it can be observed that affix changes English words from one part of speech to another. However, this is not always the case. So what we are trying to say is that it is not all the time that when an affix is added to an already existing word that changes it to another part of speech. No, it is not usually all the case. Okay, we can have another case. That's why we say that, however, this is not always the case. Some affixes negate the already existing word. So, what we are trying to say is that some affixes, they negate already existing words. Not all the time that they change those words. The part of speech, not the, not all the time they change that, but in truth, some negate. Look, let's take for example, we have examples. Roman figure four, mortar. Mortar. You do, if you look at mortar, mortar belongs to the family of adjective, right? Now we have plus I M. If you have, if you add I M and mortar together. You will have immortal. Don't forget that immortal still remains an adjective. But the only change there is that the IM, which is as affix, has negated the mortar. So that is its function. Look at the next one. We have stable plus on UN. So if you add on plus stable, you have unstable. So the fact still remains that that unstable still does not change in its form. I mean, it does not change in its part of speech. So we can now see that not all the time affixation changes words from the original me from the original class. When I mean class, I mean part of speech. So some negate, and we have some other ones like that. So let's. Proceed. Some of the affixes are we can have instance of I R, I M, U N, I C, I V E, T I O N, S I O N, among others. I hope you understand. So meaning that we can actually, we can actually form new words with the use of affixation. That is how powerful affixation can be. Do you understand? So it is so simple. Let's just bear that in mind. Affixation. Very, very powerful in English language. Especially if you really want to know how to coin new words from already existing words. Do you understand? Okay. So we have... So here, I want to encourage you not to give up. Do you understand? So practice more. Practice more. In our next class, we shall be looking at... The types of avisation that we have in English language. So, until then, I want to encourage you to do what to practice more. So, if you have any question, you can you are free to ask. Thank you.